Oh, so tough. Two bottom. Getting ready to put in uh, or till some stuff up. Started this morning before church. Gonna plant this all to food plot. Got the tower stand over there. It's about 100 and probably about 200 yards to the center of this area. So, good rifle stand. Well, I'm gonna put a bow archery stand somewhere. Uh, I don't know, gotta figure that out yet, but not right on the food plot or anything. Probably try to, to uh, intercept them before they get out here, because it's, it's always pretty hard to get out of the stand at the end of the night if there's uh, deer eating right in front of you, and I hate spooking deer, so. I never put my stands right on a food plot unless I have a really good way to get out without busting them. So anyway, follow along, go till it up and then uh, I'll disc everything up and I'm gonna scale it out on Google Earth so I know how much to uh, how much seed to get. I'm gonna lime and fertilize so bring you along for the whole thing. Um, Ford 4000, 1969, three-cylinder diesel, two-wheel drive, and uh, pulls a two-bottom pretty good. I could probably pull a three-bottom, just wouldn't be able to go as fast, but uh, I like the two-bottom because you can really bury it pretty deep and cruise right along. So anyway, stay tuned. All right, I got home, disked the food plot up one last time. Looks pretty good. And made a trip to uh, the feed and seed store. Got a bunch of 10 20 20 and a bunch of pelletized lime, calisthenic lime. So um, I think I'm going to try and spread the clover. 
show you what I got to do that with. So I bought this shoulder, or uh, yeah, I guess it's a shoulder spreader, bag seeder they call it. And uh, I've used pull behind uh, seeders in the past, like little lawn seeders for your, behind your lawnmower or tractor, or uh, you know, lawn tractor or um, ATV. But they kind of get tippy. They bounce all over the place, the seed bounces out. So I figured I'd try one of these this year. It's 40 bucks and I mean I do food plots every year so it'll be worth it. Um, still gonna cyclone spread the lime and the fertilizer on but this will work really good uh, for this really fine clover seed. I'm just gonna set it on the lowest setting and go to town so uh, I guess give it a shot, see how it works. That's a, just screw the handle on, and there's one screw here for this little deflector. Um, I'm assuming that's just to keep the seed from flying back and hitting you in the chest. So, I'm gonna fill it up and give it a shot. Shut this gate right down to zero until I get up there. Actually, I might not even pour seed in there until I get up there. I guess I can. Slightly annoying that the bag's not got some sort of rigidity to it. Make it a little easier to pour into, but we'll make her make it work. Try not to make a mess. Clover seed. It is expensive. This is a Ladino Clover. Alright. They're already coming. I haven't even planted anything yet. Alright. So what I plan to do is, all around this outside perimeter, down along the fence, the bottom here. I plan on doing probably eight rows of sunflowers with my corn planter. So that'll give you kind of a screen. If you're out here you want to kind of put a stalk on something, get close to it, try to get close to it with the bow or rifle or whatever. Um, shouldn't really need to with a rifle, but say you had to stand along the woods here, give you some cover, um, get out, like I said, I like to be back off the woods a little bit, but honestly, I think if you had a stand right here somewhere and you had that that um, 
eight or so rows of sunflowers, you could probably get out of the stand at the end of the night without spooking anything, especially if you had a clean trail down through there, you're not breaking branches and anything, but um, yeah, I'm gonna give that a try, and then I might to do some uh, some radishes, so. Uh, all right, I'm gonna give this thing a go here. white 543 um, got your fertilizer hoppers up here four seed hoppers in the back your row markers on the side so you drop those down set those to your right width and then when you're uh, going around your next pass you want to keep the tractor in the very middle of where that makes its mark so then you'll know the uh, planter will be centered and it'll be set up just uh, to be I think this is 30 these are 36 I can't believe I can't remember if these are 36 or 30 inch rows but that'll put your fifth row basically at 36 or 30 inches whatever these are set at so um, overall pretty good shape the worst thing about these things is the fertilizer just rots everything out but uh, um, Fertilizer discs have been replaced along, along with the seed discs. Tires both hold air. Haven't done anything with this for two years and they're still full of air, so that's cool. And uh, I don't know. I'm gonna give her a shot here.